The indigenous powerful levantamiento or uprising of Jung 1990, known as the Inti Raimi Sun Festival Uprising, was the largest ever in Ecuador's history. Indigenous people block roads with boulders, rocks and trees that paralyze the transport system, effectively cutting off the food supply to the cities and shutting down the country for a week. Their demands were over bilingual education, agrarian reform and demands to recognize the plurinational nature of Ecuador. The Conalle launched the uprising to force the government to negotiate. The protest action had a prelude on May 28, with the Pacific taking of the Santo Domingo Church. On the morning of John 4, in seven provinces of Ecuador, in Babura, Pichincha, Cotopaxi, Tunguragua, Bolívar, Chimborazo and Cañar, the indigenous people cut off the Pan-American Highway and other important arterias in the area at numerous points. In later days, there were roadblocks in Cañar, Azuay, Loja and the Amazon region, whose actions were added to the seizure of a dozen haciendas and public buildings in the provincial capitals. This indigenous uprising at the same time as having turned indigenous people into important political actors also led to a number of changes in the country at different levels, but their struggles for their rights date back in time. With the arrival of the Spaniards, the indigenous population was subdued, violated and stripped of its resources. In the Real Audiencia of Quito, the 18th century witnessed numerous indigenous uprisings, which inaugurated a tradition of rebellion that persists to this day. In the evolution of the Ecuadorian society in its different periods and stages of transformation, the indigenous people have had to assume the hardest part of the repression in the struggles. However, their contribution in the production and development of the country has been predominant. Also, not always the benefit has been for their people. The nearly 1.4 million indigenous people, who represent just over 8% of the population according to the INEC, live in conditions of marginalization and poverty. Their history of 500 years of resistance comes from their tradition of tenacity. For them, Protest is understood by mobilizing together, cohesively, assuming the problem as if it belonged to everyone. For decades, the indigenous people have ceased to be postcard of tradition and marginalization to become actors that have changed the course of the country and have ratified their influence as one of the most influential political actors in Ecuador's public scene and one of the most successful new social movements in Latin America since the late 80s.